I'm Jason Petrie, designer of Nike basketball, LeBron footwear. You're watching Inside the Sneaker Box. So tell me about this sneaker fetish. This weekend, taping season six, and we're here with the homie Clark Kent. Thanks yes, sir. for joining us, sir. Thank you for having me. Um, for the people that don't know and just never been here, where are we? We're in uh, Nike ID Bespoke ID Lab. Yeah, a lot of this bespoke stuff is behind you, but you can't show that. So yeah, we're gonna chill on that because this ain't a bespoke session. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about whatever you talk want about, to talk we're about. Talking about IDs. Um, you just did two IDs. Yeah, I did two. Two. Do you want to show the people the cards, or that's a secret? I mean, it don't matter. I think you took a couple of stills. Yeah, we'll, we'll, could, yeah, we'll, we'll show some stills. Hold on. Three, two, one, stills. <laughs> so, what's up with you? How you doing? I'm just happy. I'm alive. I'm breathing. Can't can't complain. Yeah. I'm having a good time. Uh, how's the year been treating you? I mean... Very good, Very good. as a matter of fact, yeah, I'm, right. I'm, having, I'm, I'm great. I'm going to jump right into it. Okay. What's the next shoe that we can, can we, what, what, what can we expect sneaker wise from you that you can tell us about? Well, What's I mean, next? I can say that there's shoes coming. Okay. There's, there's a number of them coming. And, you know, to say which one will be next would, I'd probably be, I probably might make a mistake. So instead of saying, okay, okay this shoe is coming on such and such of a day. I might be wrong and it might be something else. So, uh, can you tell us what's coming? Not necessarily what day. Um, Give us an idea. I don't know if I should. You should. Gonna, you, I, should. I, you should. You, you feel like I should, and probably the sneaker community does. But okay. to me, what happened with the um, the, the the New York City pack? Okay. No one knew it was coming, and then then it was there. It was no awesome. homo. There's a lot of yeah. words. That, no homo on this whole conversation. Yeah. But uh, there were a lot of shoes that that are, are going to happen okay. that, you know, what's the point of hyping it up and all of that? Just so let it happen. Just let it happen. So okay. those came out, they happened, and they worked. Um, they worked beautifully, by the way. I heard about, yeah. sorry to cut you off. Yeah. I heard about, because you were talking about the, um, the five borough pack. I right. heard that there's a white, a white version. I have, see, I didn't get to see them in person. But I heard that there's a white version in the, in the display. They had like a white version on each side or something like that. Or can you speak to that effect? That wasn't really like an actual one of the borough shoes. It was just the shoes that there were two shoes that they put on the side of the display. Okay. With the NYC lasered on the side. I mean, uh, you know, the, the, the with the NYC lasered on the side as to say it culminates the whole package. But they weren't like actually for sale. Okay. At the time when they dropped, they had the laser machine in here and you could come bring your shoe and get it lasered. Yeah, or you could buy a white and wet and get it lasered on the side, the five borough thing on the side. Okay, cool. So that's what it was? Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Okay. It wasn't a special shoe. It wasn't like a special? No. Gonna hit you like next week type of thing? No. Not one of your <laughs> one of days? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I No. Okay. Um, I, I don't think I'll laser on white and whites anymore because they're like too perfect. Too perfect? Yeah. You're harming the shoe. No, not necessarily. It's just not, not for me need, to do. You don't need to do anything to it. No, nah, no, nah, not that. Okay. Not that one. There's plenty of other shoes that you can laser up, laser up, <laughs> and stitch up, and do all kinds of stuff too. But the white on white, that's sacred ground right now. All right, so we know, we know. Obviously, you're doing more stuff with Nike, and um, you got some stuff coming out. Maybe this year, maybe next year. Got some stuff coming out. Okay. Uh -huh. I got <laughs> You got some stuff coming out. I got some stuff. Like, what else? You know, everybody is always talking to you about sneakers because, you know, that's what we do. Mm -hmm. Or that's what, you know, our passion, what we love. Like, what else is going on with you? Like, I'm producing. Okay. Making, making music for artists that are asking. And I'm um, producing my own artist, Matthew Ragazzino. Producing music for Curtains. Producing okay. music for... I like new guys, guys, old guys, it doesn't matter. I'm just, just working. Just finished building a new studio. Okay, yeah, I heard Fate about LLC that. studio. We just finished building that. It's What's crazy. Name? Fate LLC. Okay. And um uh, just 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 making music and having a good time. Still touring the world, DJing. Okay. About to hit Europe in like two weeks. Uh, 
twice actually. I'm going two different places out there and doing a couple of spot dates back in New York, which okay. I love to do. I love to play in New York. So when I get to it, I'm very happy. And you just got back from Virginia. Yeah, I just came back from Virginia today. I did Japan last week. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about Japan, man. Yeah, How was that? Man? It was crazy. It's crazy. It's always crazy to go out there. I did a big, big event, a very, very big event for okay. um for G Shock, Shock the World. Shock event. the World. Oh, nice. Yeah, and um, it literally was at a club that holds six thousand people, wow. and they really had their six thousand people. That's and um, crazy. had fun, murdered it, okay. as usual. I wanted to ask you. I love Japan. Um. Does Clark Kent have his own site to where people can like maybe learn more about you or your collection or sneaker wise or something like that? Um, or do, no. is there plans on creating? I'm, I mean, I'm not gonna um like go out there and go get a DJ Clark Kent site. I'm gonna you know contribute to the community. To the community. And um, we'll see how it works. Okay. Um, I'm I'm I don't feel like I'm actually. The, the sneaker head guy. Uh -huh. So respectfully yeah. to the community, I'm not gonna go out there and uh, um, try to commandeer it like it belongs to me. Mm -hmm. I'll just contribute what to I the can sites that to, are the, out there. to sites, to to the community. I, mm -hmm. I, I feel like I would contribute to the community. Like when I do something with Nike, I feel like I'm contributing to the community. Okay. I don't feel like I'm um, being a sneaker head. I like sneakers, like that's sneakers. what it's about. But I'm I'm a DJ first, yeah. And everything else comes off the creativity that I, um, I possess as a DJ. Okay. I love I love the fact that that you, you do sh do share on Twitter, your pics, man. It's like every time it's like you heard them. <laughs> you, you know what? Heard um, like those pictures are amazing. I think that comes from uh, just the love of shoes and respect to the community. There's a lot of people who um you know they they talk. And say, well, you know, we hear this guy has a lot of sneakers, so um, where are they? Where are they? And my thing is, again, I respect the community, and if I go and show you all of my shoes, it'll feel like I'm cheating because I'm DJ Clark Kent. So yeah, to me, it, it's wrong to do that. I'm not a show off, so mm -hmm. instead, I'll make it simple. I wear new sneakers every day. I take a picture of the sneakers. You'll keep seeing my collection mm -hmm. gradually. Gradually, and if it takes. Five years, let it. I mean, it can. So you you do wear a brand new pair every Absolutely. day. Absolutely, these are brand new. Absolutely, they just, they're brand new from two thousand four. <laughs> <laughs> you know, undies. Um, a lot of people have been asking me. Yeah. Um, can you give us information on sneaker friends? Uh, and we're we're what's actually the situation with that. We're actually in very very many talks about sneaker friends so that we can bring it to a bunch of cities properly. Okay, um, the right way. You know, the right way so that ATF. Can all of us can be there, and not one or two of us, so that all of us can be there. We the can all display our shoes. The, the schedules have to make sense, and the um, the venues have to make sense. I don't want to alienate a kid because he's less than 21 years old, and I don't. I don't. I want to do it properly. Mm -hmm. We all want to do it properly. Greg wants to do it properly, so we're trying to make it right, so that the next time it happens, it flows every okay. single time it happens. Okay. So we're just getting things together and then... Absolutely. Okay. I'm, looking, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, with that being said, I'm like, I know that everybody's really um, excited about Sneaker Friends and that you guys are going to move forward with it. Because mm -hmm. everybody keeps hitting me, oh, ask Clark this or ask Clark that, Sneaker Friends, Sneaker Friends, Sneaker Friends. Okay. Um, I wanted to ask you, what's the last shoe you bought? That I bought? Yeah, not designed, like an ID or a Two ID's, ID's today. No, a regular sneaker. Like a regular sneaker. sneaker, sneaker, sneaker. Um, I think I bought a pair of... Uh, Oh, I bought um in J in Japan. I bought those linens. I bought two pair of linens. I saw one was for all day and one was for mayor. And I bought three Good pair of Air Force. I bought um oh, which Air Force did I buy? The hardest question. Wait, which Air Force <laughs> did I buy? Stumped. Um, Stumped. Clyde. Stumped. I bought. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny.